to look at uh, some uh, some news there. Um, of course, anytime you go on an airplane flight, uh, you have the magazine, you have the little card in case of evacuation. The stewardesses do the uh, little uh, routine where you know they show you the oxygen mask coming down and the and the belt uh, fastening the seat belt and telling you that in the event of a water landing, your cushion can be used as a flotation device. But one of the most unsung things that you can find on an airplane are barf bags. I kid you not. And just as there is an industry for beanie babies and an industry for collecting baseball cards and anything dealing with Star Trek or science fiction, so too is there a field devoted exclusively to airplane air sickness bags. Now we asked uh, Dave Steele, ever the curious sort, uh, to sit down with a man who has his collection on the internet. And he sat down for this interview. Thanks, Care. I'm joined now by Steven Silberberg, who's a collector of air sickness bags. Steve, thanks for joining us today. Why, thank you. My first question for you is, why air sickness bags? <laughs> well, um, the, the short reason is they're free. Uh, <laughs> although I have actually ended up paying for some recently. Um, I used to collect other things. I used to collect uh, styrofoam wig heads and sardine keys, but uh, it turns out that, that those were failed collections. I see. So, uh, now I noticed on your web page that other people collect air sickness bags too, so uh, is that like all the people in the world that you know that collect them, or is this a more popular thing than, you know, the rest of us might think? <laughs> well, there are actually more people that I haven't put up on the website yet. Um, it seems that there are geographical centers where air sickness bag collecting activity um, happens. There seems to be a large community here in Dallas, and there's also a large community in Germany. Um, I've heard from about 50 people who collect them, and I've got to I've got to imagine that there are, there are hundreds more that I just don't know about. Wow, that's pretty amazing. Uh, <laughs> okay, so how many different bags do you have in your collection? Um, I don't have an exact count right now, but it, it's uh, pushing 200 right now. And do you have a favorite? Um, actually, I do have a new favorite. Um, through the miracle of the internet, I was just—I've uh, been in touch with somebody from Switzerland, um, and there is an airplane that McDonald's has that uh, that they use for promotional reasons. And they have their own McDonald's bar bag in there, and I was uh, fortunate <laughs> enough to, to swap this for a Texas flag. <laughs> it is kind of my new favorite. It actually says McDonald's on it, and it is bar bag. Hmm. Now, something, I don't know, I would expect that you're somewhat of an expert on air sickness bags since you've seen so many of them. Now, I've been in college for four years now, and just by my judgment, and I've only, I've really only flown twice, but the air sickness bags that I've seen, you know, from my judgment, you know, they wouldn't really be big enough, you know, but I guess that's based on, you know, the people that I've seen. Big enough, huh? uh, apparently, you haven't uh, had one of the airline meals lately. Yeah, that's what I was going to ask you. Do you think there's any correlation between the size of the airline meal and the sick air sickness bag? You know, that's a, that's a good question. <laughs> um, I know the smallest bag that I have comes from from a, an airline called Garuda, which is, I believe it's Indonesian. And it stands to reason that their, their meals aren't very large. I don't know. <laughs> um, but there are some, uh, I have one from a place called, you know, from Tame, which is some uh, South American airline. And, and again, I've never flown that particular one. That's what I'm excited for. But no, I, I haven't actually done a statistical correlation based upon size of dinner versus air sickness bag. I think that would be a great project for somebody in college looking for a doctoral thesis. Yeah, definitely worthy, worthy of further study. <laughs> now, also on your web page, you request that people send you air, you know, air sickness bags that, that you don't have. Has anyone ever sent you a used air sickness bag? <laughs> no, no one has actually sent me one. But I did get a weird email from some guy who said his father died. That wasn't the weird part. The weird part is, in his father's belongings, he had an air sickness bag that was filled that said JFK vomit on it. And apparently <laughs> he worked with K 
Kennedy at some point. <laughs> so is this air sickness bag worth money now? I mean, are people well, paying, you know, thousands of dollars? I think he was looking for me to appraise it or something, you know. <laughs> yeah, that's worth 500 bucks. You know, you better go sell it immediately. Wow. <laughs> I have no idea. I never heard from the guy again, but uh, so he could have just, just been yanking me, but. <laughs> okay, another question about the sun. If you're air sickness bag collectors, you need more stuff to do in your life. Yeah, <laughs> well, <laughs> yeah, I, I don't expect it's a very profitable, I mean, if you're an expert on air sickness bags, I don't suppose it would be a very profitable profession to have, <laughs> but. Anyway, uh, more about the science of, of barf bags. Now, I noticed just browsing through your web page that many of them have the words printed on them, after use, fold toward you. Now, why would it make any difference which way you fold it after you're done? <laughs> <laughs> you know, I never thought of that. I, I, I don't know. Um, my that's, theory that's was, a conundrum to me, too. My theory was maybe, you know, they figure, okay, you just barfed, you know, if anything, you've got some of it on yourself rather than on the seat in front of you. So, you know, if you fold it towards you, maybe you're more likely to spill more on you rather than spilling it, I don't know, making more of a mess. <laughs> you know, maybe it's, maybe it's people just need, I find that people need to be told what to do. And uh, they could have said fold away from you, but uh, just to give people the instructions to fold it, maybe that's it, what it's all Maybe, about. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> um, what's the strangest story you can tell me related to your your air sickness bag collecting or any experience you can you can tell me about boy i mean well i took him out to the beach one day and now i don't have any uh any odd stories like that i wish i did oh, well maybe i do um i i tried to, to obtain one from the space shuttle at one point <laughs> and uh, and so i wrote away to senator jake garn from utah and uh, to NASA, and I got some interesting things back. Uh, one thing said that um, because because the air sickness bag is classified military information, they could not send me one. <laughs> have you actually seen this classified barf bag, or I have not. And apparently, it's 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 a real um, it's a real gra grail to which we collectors aspire. Um, wow. I don't know anybody who has, who has one. But it'd be quite a coup to get one. Um, I am trying to get one from Air Force One, although I assume it's going to be just one of those plain white ones or plain gray, plain, plain brown ones. Um, wow. But I think I can get one from Air Force One. <laughs> well, that would be great. Uh, that's about all the time we have. We have to get back to the rest of our casual news here. So uh, I want to thank really? you again it for. Seems, <laughs> it seems like such a short time. Yeah. Well, it's. Time goes by fast when you're talking about barf bags, I guess. <laughs> All right. Well, thanks a lot for joining us, Steve. <laughs> wow. Well, thank you, too. Okay. Back to you, Kier. Okay. All right. Thanks, Dave. That was uh, Steve Silverman on the phone from Dallas, Texas, talking with our own David Steele. Uh, incidentally, if this kind of thing piques your interest, you may want to take a look at uh, his uh, website. And it's uh, located down there, right there on your screen. And... Uh, you can just uh, uh, type it on there in the World Wide Web. Go down there and uh, go crazy. Have the time of your life. And there is the air sickness uh, bag home site, web page, whatever. There's the address. You know, I'll, I'll, I'll wait if you guys want to put that on there. You know, if you guys want to go on there and, 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 okay. All right, moving on. You know, one of the great.